So the round three results of Comet K2025 for engineering are out. Congratulations to all of you who have got a seat of your choice in this round. And if you have not got a seat or you've got a seat that you do not like, uh, do not despair because the doors of round four are wide open. So all of you who, are <clears throat> who have come to this stage are at a crucial juncture now. Except for those who have done accept and freeze earlier, the rest of you are at a crucial juncture because this is the time when you need to decide whether to go into round four, what are the benefits, what are the risks associated with it. Uh, while Comet K has made everything very clear in its uh, document and also on the website, I thought I would still do this video so that uh, there is absolute clarity in everybody's mind as to what is the best thing to do at this stage, which is after the declaration of round three results. So I'm primarily talking about G general merit candidates. Um, so for ease of understanding, I have categorized candidates into five types. Now, these are not types defined by Comet K. This is something I'm just doing for clarity of understanding. I, and I call these a, B, C, D, E types. Okay, so, so let's look at each category one by one and what are the choices available uh, <clears throat> uh, for each. So let's take the first category which I call category A. Now these are candidates who have not got a seat in any of the rounds so far. So they have not got a seat in round one, they have not got a seat in round three. Now at this juncture, I would say they are at zero risk state because they have not got a seat so far, far they have not paid any fee. And uh, I would recommend that these candidates must go into round four because they have nothing to lose. They must fill out their choices uh, wisely and get into round four. Once they are allotted a seat in round four, um, they can accept that seat of course. They can also reject that seat, only these candidates, which I call type A candidates. They can also reject that seat. So there is no risk involved uh, for these candidates. So I would recommend that you must uh, go into round four. Now let's look at the second category, which is the type B category, as I call it. These are candidates who had got a seat in round one. They did reject and upgrade. And in round two, they have not, sorry, round three, they have not got a seat. Now, these candidates have to be careful because for some reason, if they wish to withdraw from the counseling and not lose the money because they've already paid the money, uh, then there'll be a special exit button for them. So they must exercise that choice if they wish to withdraw from the counseling and get back the money for some reason if they don't want to continue to round four. But otherwise, the system will automatically take these candidates to round four. Uh, please note that this is important. The system will automatically take you to round four. And should you wish to exit, you must uh, use the exit button, which that button will be specially for this category of candidates. Again, if you go to round four and if a college is allotted to you, you have to take that college. If a college is not allotted to you in round four, you can exit the counseling uh, and get back your refund. Right. Now let's look at uh, category C candidates. These are candidates who did, who got a seat in round one, did uh, reject and upgrade and they got a seat in round three. Right, you did reject and upgrade in round one and you've got a seat in round three. You will have four options. You will have accept and freeze, accept and upgrade, reject and upgrade, reject and withdraw. So you can exercise any of these options and go into round four. Again, remember that uh, for some reason, if you wish to withdraw from the counseling and get back your money the uh, round three cancellation window is the only is the last opportunity you've got and then once you get into round four uh, you will have to take whatever seat is allotted to you 
right now let's move on to the fourth category which is the uh, what i call category type d candidates now these are candidates who did who got a seat in round one they did accept and upgrade and in round three they uh, they have got a seat or even if they have not got a seat the round three round one seat uh, also stands now they these candidates will not have an option to reject an upgrade these candidates will only have accept and freeze and accept an upgrade again if you wish to withdraw from the counseling use the cancellation window to withdraw from the counseling in round 3 itself once you get into round 4 there's no going back because you already have a seat round 4 that seat may or may not get upgraded but whatever is allotted to you you'll have to take right now the last category which i call type e these are the candidates who uh, participated in round one uh, but they did not get any seat in round one now they have a seat in round three right now these are the candidates again who will have all the four options accept and freeze accept and upgrade reject and upgrade reject and withdraw so they should exercise one of these options carefully uh, please note that uh, if you are holding a seat and and at this point in time and for any reason you have to uh, you want to withdraw from comet k the only window you've got is the seat cancellation window and you must exercise that choice within that window if you wish to exit the counseling and not lose your money please remember that comet k also talks about a penalty who move into round four and do not take up that seat so if so if you've got a seat at the end of the declaration of results for round three you have to exercise one of the options and then if should you wish to withdraw from the counseling do the cancel seat option so that you do not lose your money right i hope this is clear uh, wishing everybody all the best i think uh, from the way things are going round four cutoffs could go much lower so do uh, edit your choices if you are entering round four very very wisely do not hold yourself back thinking no this college is out of my reach put as many good colleges and seats as you wish but make sure they are in the right preference order the the topmost choice goes on top number one your most preferred seat should be number one and then gradually coming down from there right uh, so all the best to all of you i'm sure uh, all of you will find a seat uh, that that you like and uh, very soon you would begin begin uh, the four years of your life which probably would be the best phase of your life all the best